Welcome to Token Post Daily News Briefing, where we provide you with the latest and exclusive news on blockchain and cryptocurrency. Our top stories today, Binance enters the European market, new allegation posts against DX exchange, Bitco launches cold wallet crypto trading platform, and Circle publishes its third audit report. Stay tuned for more, I'm your host Hun, and this is your Daily News Briefing. Good news for European crypto traders as Binance announces to enter the European crypto market with its new Jersey-based exchange. Binance, the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange, has announced to expand its operations into the European markets with the launch of Binance Jersey. According to TokenPost.com, the new exchange is set to provide a secure and reliable fiat to crypto trading of the euro and the British pound. Newly introduced pairs on the exchange will support Bitcoin to pound, Ether to pound, Bitcoin to Euro and Ether to Euro. To quote the CFO of Binance, Wei Zhou, expanding the cryptocurrency exchange markets with fiat currencies in the European region is opening new economic opportunities for Europeans as well as freedom of looming Brexit uncertainty where the pound and the Euro are also in concern. He further went on to state that through Binance Jersey, Binance wants to help bridge the crypto fiat channel for Europe and the UK as part of its global expansion. Along with its partnership with Digital Jersey, Binance has been striving to foster the adoption of cryptocurrency in the European region. Through the new launch of Binance Jersey, Binance believes that the new Jersey-based branch will serve as a major driving force behind the increasing use of cryptocurrencies in the European market. A few hours ago, CCM published an article raising an interesting concern regarding the new Nasdaq-powered token trading platform, DX Exchange. According to the article, CCN believes that DX Exchange may be a sham with its ties to the binary options platform, Spot Option, which was forced to shut down its operation due to an ongoing fraud investigation. According to the Times of Israel, Spot Option was one of more than 100 companies that scammed countless customers around the world. And CCN found that DX Exchange, an exchange supporting the trade of tokenized Nasdaq listed US stocks, may have ties to one of former owners of Spot Option. CNN also claims that Limor Patar Kajisvili, who is believed to own 90% of Spot Option, is thought to be the owner of DX Exchange. CCN stated that Limor Patar Kajisvili was the only registered shareholder of DX Exchange's parent company, Coins Market Technologies OU. However, when questioned about DX Exchange's ties to Spot Option via Twitter, the CEO of DX Exchange, Daniel Skronsky, stated that although DX Exchange has hired former employees of Spot Option, the exchange is otherwise not associated with Spot Option in any way. But despite the statement from the CEO of DX Exchange, CCN stands by its claim that DX Exchange has close ties with Spot Option and that investors and traders should keep a lookout. Goldman Sachs-backed blockchain security company Bitco announced that it has developed a new platform which enables clients to buy and sell digital assets directly from Bitco Trust's cold storage wallet. In contrast to a hot wallet, which involves the online storage of digital assets, a cold wallet stores digital assets offline in such forms as USB drives or even a piece of paper. Usually, traders have to input a password to gain access and move assets held in a hot wallet. With cold wallets, on the other hand, traders must transfer their offline assets in order to move or trade their assets. However, Bitco has developed a new platform that enables direct trades from a client's cold wallet. With the help of Genesis, an over-the-counter digital currency trading platform, Bitco stated in an official press release that clients will now be able to trade securely and safely from Bitco cold storage accounts. With stablecoins growing in popularity, many onlookers doubt if the companies behind such coins are indeed backed. The most well-known example of a stablecoin is Tether, a cryptocurrency pegged to and backed on a one-to-one -one basis with the US dollar. And Tether is no exception. The company was also subject to the same doubt, but later it was proved that its stablecoin is indeed fully backed. Another fabled stable coin within the crypto industry is USD coin, or USDC, issued by the Goldman Sachs-backed finance company, Circle. And like Tether, 
Circle successfully refuted similar claims in its recently published audit attestation report. The report, which was audited by the independent accounting firm Grant Thornton LLP, stated that as of December 31st, the total amount of USDC tokens issued by Circle amounted to approximately 251 million USDC, and that the balance of US dollars held in Circle's custody accounts amounted to, yes, $251 million. To be exact, the balance held in Circle's custody accounts was actually $61 more, according to the report. Another noticeable fact from the report is that compared to the company's previously published audit report, the company has issued an additional 70 million USDC and has increased the balance of US dollars in its custody accounts to match this growth. During a period of one month from November 31st to December 31st, it was found that the market cap of USDC rose 40% and that the company had successfully managed to back every single USDC in US dollars. Bringing you the latest news, I'm your host Hun with the Token Post Daily News Briefing. Thank you for watching.